Oh, it's, I mean, this thing is so quiet now. It's, you know, all you can hear, you can't hear the motor, you can just hear the, the gear or the head spinning with the silicone tubing on it. So it's really, that's the only noise that you hear once it's running. <laughs>it wasn't so noisy. We yeah. Were noticing the noise emitted from these, from the pumps. And you know what? Uh, most people, they, pr they probably wouldn't associate noise with software mm. also. And that's, uh, it's, it also, it's not, yes, of course, the noise of the pump comes from the hardware, yep. but it also comes from the, from the way the software is driving, driving. that pump. Mm -hmm. So you can, you can have the hardware that is perfect, but if the software is not correct, then yep. the pump is gonna be noisy. Yep. So it's, it's, it's not as simple as a black and white, it's actually, it's a little more complicated. But I know that we spent a lot of time writing software that could make it quiet. Mm -hmm. And then we, we, during COVID, we, ha we got a little surprised, didn't we? Yeah. Yes. So with this, we basically, we found this new chip and it's uh, from a German manufacturer and they specifically build this chip just to drive these type of stepper motors. That's their, that's, that's their, their core, whole, that's the whole it. business, right? That's this it. is all they do is they, they create this microchip that yeah. drives that. That's so it. this is, this is a company that has put a lot of money into R and D mm -hmm. on how to drive the chip. Yeah. software wise correct so and hydros as you know it's like we're not in the business of making yeah. this chips we're not in the business of making feeders mm -hmm. why are we going to spend r d on that when we can actually partner with companies that have been doing this for a long time yeah. and they know how to do best yeah so the difference between this the the old chip and this new tridonic chip from the company mm -hmm. it, it, it's night and day isn't it oh it's i mean this thing is so quiet now it's you know, all you can hear, you can't hear the motor, you can just hear the, the gear or the head spinning with the silicone tubing on it. So it's really, that's the only noise that you hear once it's running. And all that software that we were writing mm. to, 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 to drive the quiet the thing, yeah. that's all incorporated into the operating mm. system within this chip yeah. from Tridonic. Yeah. So they've done all this research. So mm. we're just taking advantage of this information, this resource, yeah. and using it to our advantage so that we can drive a quiet pump. You know, the last thing, you know, people complain about noise all the time. And of I, course. <laughs> and uh, that's, that was the last thing we could do is release a, a noisy dosing pump. Yeah. It, another question that I get a lot of the times is, how easy is it to switch those pumps, the heads? Uh, how easy do they come out? So there's basically, there's just a little set screw on the cover. Mm -hmm. You remove that one screw, turn it counterclockwise, it unlocks, pull the head off, pop a new one on. Exactly, and, and there's in the front lid, there's only four screws, you take those four screws, mm -hmm. and then there's a little white connector, plug that, plug that, yeah. and then that's it. There's no special connector, there's no, um, um, no, no special connector that we've here at yeah. Hydros developed because we don't want you to buy any other pump mm -hmm. or anything like that. Not really. It's just we're using the regular pumps yeah. and then making it available to everybody. Yeah, some people have asked if, uh, how easy it is to replace a, a motor if, if one would fail. And it's basically four screws and, and a little connector. Exactly. And, it, it, and you can easily replace it. So what this goes to is that we, when they do fail, you can actually take yeah. it out and you don't even have to take the entire X10. Exactly. You don't have you to take it send it in for service yep. or anything. No, you just take just, that pump yep. out and then we'll send you a new one with instructions on how to do it and you can do it yourself. Four screws on the, on the top lid, four screws on the pump, replace and it. Boom. With the connector on the back end of the pump and it's done. Fantastic. It. So it's, it's actually a well-designed. Yeah, product. we always, you know, thinking of serviceability and, you know, we don't want people to be down for any you know, of amount course. of time. Of course. Also, this X10 has the same ESP32 chip that mm -hmm. every single Hydros device is. So we didn't, just because we added pumps, we added right. salinity, doesn't mean that we cut cost on, right. the, on the processing chip. So this has the latest and greatest ESP32 chip yeah. with the latest software in there driving it, making, mm -hmm. you know, its own Wi-Fi, its own Bluetooth, its own brain. So it's able to make decisions just by itself yeah. or as part of a collective. Absolutely. Dang.